and this on the frying pan. And I started to work on it, it was doing pretty good, but I got smart and I moved over to here. And I got it set up in here and I'm just using, instead of me having to push so hard, I'm using this to hold down and then just moving the pan around. So I'll show you a little bit of that. I push down too hard, I can't move the pan. So I'm gonna continue working on this and then of course I'll have to do something different for the sides. I might be able to tip it up a little bit and then the outside. Um, but I will bake this in the oven too to get anything else off and make sure it's good and clean because this thing's been laying around for many years. All right, so I showed you I did a lot of wire brush work to it. Uh, let me pull it back out so you can actually see. Didn't do much to the bottom, but the inside's looking a lot better. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it in the oven and put the oven on self clean and run this thing at 500 degrees for four hours and then it'll be completely sanitized, sanitized, cleaned and then we will turn around and wire brush any last loose stuff off of it and then start to re-season it. Now I did pull this out of the oven and I forgot to show you. Um, pretty much it was clean. There was a little bit of stuff I swept off it with a little brush and now I'm back over here just cleaning up any last little bit of rust but it looks like it's just surface rust, nothing deep or anything like that so i'm just going to go around it work on it get all this cleaned up and then um i will start to season it but yeah definitely clean it up now this is not an old pan i found out this one it was made in the 90s probably as a commemorative pan to wagner's pans it is a wagner pan but it's not one of the old ones so anyway yeah sorry i forgot to show you right when it came out of the oven but it pretty much looked like this i just a little bit of surface rust like that that was on after baking in there for four hours in the clean cycle at 500 degrees. But definitely safe to eat out of now once we get it seasoned. So now that this thing has been baked um, in, in the oven and on the clean setting, so it's stripped it of everything on all sides, we're going to go ahead now and put a thin layer of flaxseed oil on it. And we're going to use a non-rag uh, that won't leave fibers and stuff behind. Just a thin layer in there, and then we're gonna bake it at 300 for a couple hours. Let it cool, and we're gonna repeat that process at least three times to start to get a new finish on it. I just wanna say it's in for the third and final um, pre-treatment to re-season it. Okay, I don't know if I did a final wrap-up video on the pan here uh, that I've been seasoning. Um, this has been seasoned three times in the oven with flaxseed oil, and I have now cooked on this thing several times. Uh, cleanup has been simple, and it is uh, virtually non-stick at this point. Uh, it's been working super, super well, better than I expected. Um, I clean it right away after I use it, and then I uh, put it back on the, pan, uh, on the heat to make sure there's no water, make sure it's good and dried out and put a little bit of oil on, but uh, that's it. It's been working fantastic. So I'll put a, a link to the video I watched that I learned how to get this thing set up and thoroughly cleaned uh, because he does a better job than I do explaining it. But anyway, very happy with this so far. So thanks for swinging by Shane's Main Shop. Please like and subscribe. Comment if you have any questions. Uh, I'll be looking for some more of these. Uh, more vintage ones uh, at yard sales this summer hopefully because so I am very impressed this is actually working better than my non-stick pans it's working much better so uh, anyway there you have it like comment subscribe have a great day and we'll see you in the next video